So I decided to become a sheep. Um, and I, I want to beat the game as a sheep. I mean, how hard can it be? Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. Okay, right, got another guy coming up here. Let's aim this right. Oh, never mind. Fuck. Come on. God oh, damn. Fuck. Oh, we're so screwed. Yeah. No. Fuck. I'm getting down here. Fuck! Fuck! Oh! God, no. Oh my god, man. So this here is Limmy. Limmy the little sheep. He's rocking a wizard's hat, and uh, I think this is my explanation as to why he can levitate. He's also got this really cool shepherd staff that does absolutely nothing from the start, but has pretty decent base stats. Oh yeah, and uh, did I mention he has only 5 HP? Yeah, he, he's got no health. I made this mod purely for this run. If you want to try it out, check the link in the description below. And if you want to see more mods like this, go ahead, subscribe. It really helps me out. So yeah, I, I tried beating the game as a sheep, and um, this is what happened. So like 50 tries later, I'm so demoralized that, man, I, I had nothing to comment on. There was no commentary in this at all. But our luck changed. Look at this. We start off in a lucrative biome with all these open gold veins. I, I was actually so surprised. I, I wanted to go and check the seed just in case I wanted to try this out later. And look at this. We, we find a wand. This is amazing. This absolute madness. This RNG is, is so good. So that's already two problems out of the way. Gold, which is nearly impossible to get without a tablet or any throwable objects. And a wand. So now we can actually kill things. I, I don't have to use the shepherd stuff anymore. This is, this is amazing. So I used my brain and uh, quite literally used my head to smash this lantern into the wood. And, and I'm, I, I honestly, I was so hyped. I thought something was going to come at me uh, whilst waiting for this to burn, but no. No, no, nothing wanted to kill me. What a surprise. And look at that. Would you look at that? We get magic missiles straight away. Uh, I'll be honest, I would have liked something a little bit more sustainable because we only have 10 shots. But it's better than nothing. It is so much better than nothing. And now we can actually kill things. So I'm happy. After getting a pretty sick kill with this mining cart, I wanted to go off and explore. See if I can find some more wands, maybe some potions, and uh, hopefully some hearts or chests. And what do you know? We're lucky. We managed to find ourselves some invisibilium in this water here. It, this is so lucky because we're going to need this for later. I mean, I, I'm still a one hit kill. All right. I have five HP and, and it's not like my HP is going to go up that fast. So I'm going to be using this to the best of my ability. So I save it for later and explore the rest of the mines. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I was just scared. I managed to kill like this one shotgun guy. Okay, good. He's dead. And then later on, uh, this dude pops up out of nowhere. So glad I was equipped for that. So freaking glad. And then I was just staring into this pit of fire. Just just thinking about how long I've spent trying to beat this game as a sheep. Uh, yeah, I think I started losing it. And uh, to be honest with you, I, I was done with the mines. I just, I just wanted to get into safety. So I entered the holy mountain. And yeah, now we're safe. So we go straight to the perks just to check out what we have before we decide to buy anything. So we might want to re-roll. Uh, I had a little look and uh, I couldn't make a decision yet. So I went over to the spells and I picked up a chain bolt and a teleport bolt. I mean, I, I was going to put the teleport bolt on, but then I decided, no, I'm, I'm going to need a magic missile for the coal pits at least. And I didn't want to buy anything else because I wanted to save some of that gold just in case if we don't find any more or we don't even get the chance to grab any more gold. Although, uh, that being said, being a total hypocrite here, I go straight for a reroll and I end up picking up the projectile repulsion sector. With a fully loaded shepherd staff, I went to town on all the residents within the coal pits. I, I was leaving no survivors. And yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I found some more gold and uh, I found this really cool chain. I mean, look, look how long it is. I had to break it. Yay. Bearing in mind that I was still at least one critical hit away from death and at least two hits 
away from death as well. I I, I wasn't ready to get noited. All right, I, nobody has time for that. So. I just, I explored the best I could. I tried to find as much as I could. And to be honest with you, I, I just found nothing. I mean, I got like a little bit more gold and that's it. And and I just decided, you know what? I I guess I got lucky in the mines and uh, I went straight back to the mountain. Yeah, I, I wanted to test my luck in the mountain, see what perks I got and see what spells I got. So out of the spells, I mean, there wasn't anything in particular that I really wanted to get. Maybe some modifiers here and there that I could use later, but to be honest with you, I just can't wait to save my money. Uh, I actually spent a bit of that money on a reroll that got me Plague Rats. And that, that was probably the most important thing to get at this point because we need decoys. We, we don't want to be the primary target. Now, I didn't want to go for anything that could potentially shock me. And uh, I didn't really want to go for the Glowing Lance either because I, I just I just felt like the Chain Bolt, it, it, just, it just felt easier to use. I needed something that I could use in close quarters and that would zap multiple enemies at once. Maybe if I had some speed up modifiers, I would use the glowing lance, but nah, I, I just wanted to save my money. So we've got to say at this point, I, I, I was, I know, I, I felt like I was going to die very soon. I, I, I still, I, I didn't have much faith in the run until I saw this. Look at that. Invisibility and potion, and there's a wand right there. I had to get that wand. But, but these are the snowy depths, so yeah, it's, it's going to be a ride. You know what? You know what I did? Like, I, looking back at the footage right now, I, I I didn't even go for that wand. I, I went all the way to the right. I I got distracted. Yeah, I could have just broken through. I could have broken the ice. But no, I I, 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 I don't know what I was thinking. And after killing Freezy Egg Guy, uh, I, I yeah, I just continued to the right. And then, uh, and then I found something. I mean, I found this wand, uh, a broken wand, which is good. But no, no, that's not it. I, I, I found something else. Uh, yeah, it's a wand, right? But um, the important thing to, to understand here is that there is an enemy right here. And just check this out. Just look at this. How many times can a guy miss a shot? Like, this is just dumb. <laughs> One more shot. There we go, you killed him. But you know what? It was worth it because we've got a whole bunch of eggs, which I can use for decoys. And it is crucial to have decoys when you've got this little health. And then we find this wand, which was, eh, I, I, it, it was all right. But you know what was even more important? This little bit of health, this health up in the corner down here, and it took me so long to figure out how to get down there. You see, if I could dig through here, I'd be really happy, but I can't, so I'm not happy. <laughs> and for some reason, I, I summoned some minions to try and help me. I, I don't know, I don't know how this would have helped me, but I, I was trying really hard to figure this shit out. Retrieve it for me. I guess I can't get that, and I can't get through here as well because I'm too fat. I need to, ch I need to change the model because this is not acceptable. And later on, I figured out that I could actually use the chain pole to uh, get rid of some of the snow. And uh, I mean, I was happy. You can't hear in my voice, but I was happy. There we go. Oh, 50 health now. Anyway, after pointlessly killing some Heasy, I just I just decided to get out of here, man. I'm done with this biome. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm getting pretty far now. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. But look at this. We've actually found some pretty decent spells. And, uh, I mean, the perks kind of suck. I, I end up going for the revenge bullets. But we got ourselves a spark bolt with a trigger, which is insane. And we also get ourselves an extra mana, because why not, man? Like... That is such a good spell to have. And with all of that, we optimize our shepherd staff into something that can really slap some ass. The other ones that we have, I mean, we, look, we've, we've got a teleport wand, we've got magic missiles, and we've got a couple of eggs. I don't know why I didn't put more eggs on this, but you know what? I don't care, man. I don't care. I make even worse mistakes later on anyway, so who cares? So now I go deeper, deeper into the Heesey base. And I have to say, man, I really enjoyed myself here. Now, after ripping through these enemies, uh, I actually felt really confident with myself now. I had a decent amount of health, and uh, yeah, my, my, my new shepherd staff is working really nicely. I was cutting through these guys like moist butter. I, I mean, I killed this guy as well, and then I blew up this propane tank. And then there was this one guy with a really cool wand, and, and this wand had some pretty decent spells in it. Look at that. Healing bolts. And then I murder even more Heesey. They're so powerful in this level. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Screw you. Perfect. There, there, there are some pretty scary moments as well. I mean, trying to fight this guy. 
I, I was just, uh, man, I was silent. I, honestly, there was no commentary. I was just focusing, pure focus. I was even on fire, but I, I still went for the gold here. But look, man, only 45 health. Not too bad. Now, I, I even kill a gang of Heesey with this wand. Like, honestly, I was feeling indestructible at this point. Just give me all of that sweet, sweet gold, please. Man, this is sick. <laughs> This is genuinely so cool. It's my rat wand. Friends of the farm, come together. So, I, I had a pretty intense fight with these guys, but it wasn't that intense, because I mean, I squashed them with some ice. But I got a little bit too greedy, and I went for this gold here, and uh, yeah. I, I decided it's time to leave. I, I, look, 21 health, we could easily die. And that being said, I, I tempted fate yet again. And stop setting on fire, and don't get killed by that guy. Freaking cock blocker. Jesus Christ. I'll, I'll get one shot by that guy if I'm not careful. And again, we gotta, we gotta retreat real fast and hard right now. And I just got out of there, man. I, I was done with this place. Alright, to summarize the mountain, uh, I mean, let's look at my notes. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I figured out that the healing bolts, yeah, I can't use those. I, I thought I had the right modifier for it, but nah. Nah. Look at this BS. Yeah, and I, I managed to get Tinker with Wands everywhere, which is great. Uh, except I forget to use it, so um, that's going to be fun. Makes staff more epic. Uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah. No, yeah. I, I, I put a freeze charge on the zapper. The chain bolt. The, the chain zapper. The, you know what I mean, right? It, it makes it way, way more epic. But you know what? I was kind of dreading, dreading the jungle. Because that's what's up next. And uh, you know what, man? I, I actually had a lot of fun in there. I had some wasps trying to get into the mountain. I wasn't having any of that. So I zapped these guys cold. And man, having this freeze charge on, on, this, on the zapper. I don't know why I call it a zapper. But you know what I mean, right? It is so, it's so powerful. And, and the fact that we can stun enemies like that, man, it, it makes things so much easier. So we go in, we blast, we zap, we kill. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, man. Like I, I, I was, I was expecting to die. I really was expecting to die. I was feeling good about myself, but you know what? I didn't have uh, have the highest hopes until I started like nailing everybody with this this wand. This staff has become so powerful. It's so minimal, but so effective at the same time. I can I can even kill the Luki pretty damn easily. Oh, and you remember that really awesome perk? Tink with wands everywhere. Yeah, I totally forget that exists. And uh, I look at this really, yeah, pretty decent wand. I mean. We got a downwards LARPer as well. I'm going to swap it out for my other wand. I, I don't even think about just picking out the spells. But you know what? I found another wand and uh, yeah, it, it, it was alright. But you know, I, I forgot that I could actually take spells out of wands now. So we can forget that. But you know what? I, I, I was having the best time of my life, man. I was just zapping everybody, freezing them to a crisp. It was amazing. I, I felt so invincible at this point. I didn't even take a hit of damage. Well, I mean, yeah, maybe there I did, right? But like, ignore that, okay? And I might be poisoned, but don't you freak out. It's all cool. It's all good under the hood. But do you know what? There's, there's one thing I can't forgive is that I, I was, yeah, man, I was actually doing pretty decent in here, but I, I guess I, I got so far that I didn't want to risk it too much and get like destroyed by a gang of enemies. So, yep, I, I went, I went through the portal. Yeah, probably the quickest biome I've been through at this point. So yeah, a missed opportunity to find more heart crystals, especially in the jungle. Yeah, what what an idiot. I can't believe it. We were pretty lucky in regards to the perks here. We got some electricity immunity, which is super helpful, especially going into the labs next. And uh, in regards to my wands, well, not too much changed. Uh, to summarize, I basically made my, my zapper just... Yeah, it just has a little bit more mana. That's it. And I got myself some intense concentrated light, which uh, I'm going to be honest with you, th there's probably no use for it. I, 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 there probably is, but at the same time, I'm not going to use it. I've already got something that's going to zap and freeze, and that's all I need. So my plan for the labs was just to stay out of sight. I, I didn't want to attract that much attention. I knew I'd be overwhelmed very, very quickly. So I kind of wanted to get through here as soon as possible because I knew that I had some kind of chance against the boss at this point. Uh, you know, the hardest part is actually getting to the boss. I think everybody who's beaten Noia before, who's played it a lot, kind of knows that already. But um, look, okay, I, I was a coward and I'm going to own up to that. Uh, but I tell you what, we, we found some good stuff though. I managed to find myself uh, another heart crystal. 
So our health's increased, which is it is amazing. Uh, we need that. It's like the most crucial element to this run is actually increasing our health in the first place. So finding that was a godsend. Although feeling kind of confident, I, I did actually want to test out my wand on some of these enemies. So in the in the protection of the electric field, I just went ahead and I just started zapping. Yeah. And I let the rats do the rest of the work, but I mean, they're not that useful at this point. So this is just a point, again, for like new players. This is why a, a, a spark bolt with a trigger is, is such a powerful spell. Because you can, you, honestly, you can put anything on the end of it, and it's pretty fast. And as soon as it makes contact with anything, that's it. It triggers, and there you go. You don't have to worry about any explosion radius. You don't have to worry about getting up close and personal. You can kind of zap things from a distance, and that's why I love this. Although, it, things kind of changed because we had one of these uh, Metal Lance dudes. I keep forgetting the names because they're all in Finnish. But, yeah, this guy was crawling around and I was I was scared. I felt kind of confident that I could take him out. But this guy does a lot of damage and uh, he's, he's pretty tanky too. So, uh, yeah. Although, what do you know? I, I managed to actually kill him. And he picked up a wand as well, which was pretty cool, so we get to check that out. And uh, yeah, it had an upwards larper, and uh, I was kind of happy about that, so I, I picked it up. For the rest of the run, I, I just stayed invisible. Uh, I just wanted to dodge these enemies. I wanted to get out of here, because look look what's going on. Like, I, I, I know for a fact I, I'm going to get sparked. I'm going to get uh, zapped. I, something's going to happen, and I, I don't want to risk it. So I, I, just, I just snuck through here, and I got out as fast as possible. I think what I'm most annoyed about is the fact that I didn't even chance it and, and try and get some more gold because there are so, so many good spells in these ones, but I had no money for it. So I just went, I just got the extra health perk and, and that was it really. That That is literally it. We had nothing else, no other changes. Oh yeah, th this was quite funny. This is actually when I realized I had tinker with ones everywhere and I freaked out about it. And oh, I have this. I have tinker with wands everywhere. I have that and I didn't use it. I did not use it. So my plan here was pretty simple. Uh, I'm just gonna use the Invisibilium. And like an idiot, I waste like a, 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 quite a fair amount just standing here trying to trying to soak myself in it. But you know what, man? Um, we're just gonna have to roll with it and oh, <laughs> we have to see how it goes. Do you know what? Like maybe that was a bit too much preparation because the only enemy that was down here, at least to start off with, was this ghost guy. But we, we managed to find a wand, which was kind of cool. It had a reduced lifetime on it. I'm not sure if that would have come in handy at all, so I picked it up anyway. Um, but you know what, man? Uh, screw that. We, we got bigger fish to fry right now. So yeah, my cover was blown, and uh, I had to deal with a whole bunch of uh, enemies right here. Uh, I think this is probably one of the scariest moments, because I, I realized, like, th this guy's not going down. I mean, look, yeah, I can freeze him, but look how much damage I'm doing to him. And I've got these guys coming up. Man, I am screwed. I am so screwed. I was flailing around these guys like a dick on fire. Like, I, I just couldn't... Honestly, I, I was silent. There, there, is, there is no audio here because I am clenching my butt cheeks so hard I can't even speak. But somehow, somehow, I managed to get out of there. And uh, thanks to the Invisibilium, we succeeded. Thank God for that. Later on, I, I found myself in this situation. Yep. Yeah, like this, this is, this is not good. This is really not good. So we continue to make our way through this place, pretty much invisible, uh, avoiding as much enemy contact as possible. And th there's a lot of fights that go on in here as well. So uh, we're kind of worried about that. Obviously liquids, I don't want to be touching any of those. But for some reason, at this point, there's a slight flicker. I don't know what happens. This guy, this guy figures me out and he starts shooting. Kind of freaked me out, but we're okay. So again, yeah, I'm freaked out because now I've been I've been seen, I've been caught out. But on the plus side, we picked up some extra health. But then I'm I'm stuck in this situation. Yeah, it's it's kind of scary. I th I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. I somehow managed to throw my invisibilium and it doesn't smash. Like, come on, man. There's somebody is looking out for me right now. We we had a few other close calls. For example, traps still see you, okay? And I managed to get caught by one, I lose a little bit of health, but my main concern is being spotted by the other enemies. Thankfully, nobody saw me, so I was fine. So I, I, I at this point, I noticed something, okay? We don't have that much invisibilium left, which is a massive issue. And I'm kind of stuck here now deciding what to do, right? Do I explore further 
Or do I try and dig through this sand? Um, yeah, you, you probably guessed it. I'm gonna dig through this sand. And let me tell you, it, it takes a while. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna speed it up. I, I want you guys to see how painful this was. And it's a miracle that no enemies came around the corner. Nobody patrolling these areas. I have no idea how I managed to survive this long. Once I dug through, I, do you know what? I just ran for it. I ran for it. I had the smallest amount of invisibilium left. Thankfully though, it was just enough because we finally made it to the portal and dude, I was so happy. <gasps> I made it. I freaking made it. I actually made it through there. Oh boy. This was it. This was it. This was the big moment. I tried so, so hard. You have no idea how much pain and suffering this poor sheep had to go through to get here. But we finally did it. And now we had one last obstacle in our way. We had the final boss to beat. With no money to buy any new spells and a very limited supply of spells at that, I had to figure out a wand. I had to figure out something that could work. But luckily we get ourselves a projectile repulsion field, which is going to come in super handy for this boss fight. Going through the spells that I had, honestly, it was tricky trying to figure out the best combination. I had no idea what I was going to use. I, I definitely had to change things up. But I noticed that I had some downwards bolt bundles. And uh, do you know what? I decided to go for that. And it's going to be awkward to use, but do you know what, man? It, anything is good at this point. They do a lot of damage and they have a nice high spread, so it's fairly accurate. So I go ahead with this. And because I was so beaten down, I decided to go into this with some confidence. I, uh, At the end of the day, I didn't care what happened. If I died, so what? We managed to make it this far. With my last bit of courage left, I go up to the boss and I initiate the fight. And this is how it goes. Fucking die. I fucking did it. I fucking did it. I did it. I did it. I actually did it. Oh. Oh my god. My heart is actually racing. There we go. We did it. We find we actually beat the game as a sheep. I can't believe it. I was so happy about this. I could actually sleep. I actually had a really good night rest after this. Do you know what? like when making this mod? Right, this mod, making this mod in the first place was difficult, okay? But then actually trying to beat the game and edit this video, man, it took so much time, but it was worth it. I felt fulfilled. And honestly, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this too. If you made it this far and you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. There will be a lot more of this kind of content, a lot more mods. I've got so many ideas. And uh, do you know what? I've not made it through this portal yet. I'm still standing here, right? <laughs> God knows, Limmy's adventures may continue. But anyway, guys, go check out the link in the description below if you want to try this mod out. And uh, yeah, let me know how it goes. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.